the people who are over there doing this evacuation in very dangerous conditions, as you've seen, are doing absolutely the bravest, most impossible job in the world, and I'm very proud of them. But as far as the overall picture goes, like, here's the deal. All these people are playing the blame game right now over what's happening right now because they want to distract us from the fact that we spent 20 years, $2.3 trillion, and 2,500 U.S. service member lives over there for absolutely nothing. Like the same people right now who are saying one more day, one more month, one more dollar are the same people who said that for 20 years. And what we saw last week, that what that means is one more Marine. It means one more Marine over and over again. It reminds me of the saddest day of my entire life, which was standing on the flight line in Helmand, Afghanistan, in the middle of the night, watching the fallen body of one of the members of my battalion loaded onto a transport plane to go home. These people are trying to keep us focused on what's happening right now because they have been telling the American people that it was worthwhile to spend $2.3 trillion over there for absolutely nothing while they've been refusing to spend that much building up our own country here at home, and we can't let them win. We have to fight back against that narrative because it's wrong and it's just part of the systematic institutional dishonesty that has us in this position right now.